United's first goal in 440 minutes of football led to a dramatic comeback. Let's see how United turned things around. Before we look at the positives, we need to look at how United ended up 2-0 down. There were two things that really killed United in the first half. The first was how passive United were. We can see United have dropped back into a mid-defensive block, which is fine, but at some point you have to put pressure on the ball. Longley has this corridor of space to push up into and does so unimposed. Longley ends up on the halfway line and with no pressure on the ball against a high line, a simple ball over the top gets Ramsey in. We have an identical situation. Again, Longley is on the ball with his corridor of space. Again, he gets to the halfway line with no pressure on the ball and he feeds the ball into Watkins who has dropped into this pocket of space. Watkins pops the ball off to Ramsey who gets in behind United's high line. I promise this is a different situation. Long lay on the ball again with no pressure and has even more space to move into if he wanted, but he plays the ball out to Dean. Longley has carried the ball from here. He plays the ball to McGinn in his pocket of space. He plays the ball out to Bailey. Two passes and Bailey is in the box in a one-on-one -on -one with Dallow. It was way too easy for Villa to play through United's lines. Second half, United were much more organised and on the front foot. In this situation, United are not pressing, but look how much further forward they are. In the first half, this defensive formation was on the halfway line, and this facilitated United winning the ball back time and time again in Villa's defensive third. This is the same phase of play. The ball goes out to Carlos, and we can see the more advanced position of Rashford has shut down that corridor of space Villa's centre-backs had up to the halfway line in the first half. In this situation, the ball has just been played into Luis, and we can see how much more aggressive United are in pressing higher up the pitch. And two Villa passes later, United win the ball back in Villa's defensive third. We can see nine of United's ten outfield players in Villa's half, then Donka plays the ball into McGinn, but Evans crunches him. Longley is on the ball, Hoyland and Anthony are putting pressure on Longley. He overplays, Anthony wins the ball back. And this corner won, led to Hoyland's winning goal. The second issue for United was, in the first half, Villa's well-organised defensive line caught United offside a number of times, and that helped Villa alleviate pressure. Second half, it was a combination of United timing their runs better and a tactical change of leaving players up the field to go from back to front with long balls to take Villa's offside line out of the game. In this situation, Rashford is about to play the pass, and we can see Hoyland timing his run much better against Villa's high line but the pass was a bit off. Fernandez is about to play the pass and Rashford this time times his run to beat Villa's offside line. I mentioned United going from back to front much quicker, taking offside out of the game. Anana is about to hit a long ball up to Garnacho, who is in his own half and of course can't be offside. And Garnacho's pace gets him into this position and could have slid this across to Hoyland, but went for goal. Dallo is about to smash a long ball up to Hoyland, who is well in his own half and wins a free kick. It was a clear tactical change to lead players up the field to hit long balls into the spacing behind and utilise the superior pace United's forwards had against Villa's defenders. The devil's verdict is, it was a great moment to see Hoyland get his first Premier League goal. It was just a shame that a United player didn't provide the assist. In terms of this being a turning point, I'm not so sure. Out of all the Christmas games, this was the one I felt United would definitely win. Villa's high line fits United's strengths perfectly, so the opponent was a good fit. But if United could beat Forest, who were excellent against Newcastle, maybe United could put a run together. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.